welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I will be discussing about the new topic which is crystalline and also solid state part 1. So the expected outcomes for this um, crystalline and also solid state are the introduction and also the identification uh, of the types of metallic crystal. So, um, solid can be characterized as um, in two types, okay, which are crystalline first and second one is amorphous. Uh, this is how uh, or depending on how their particles are arranged. Uh, for, uh, for the first one, the crystalline solid, uh, it actually possesses a rigid and also long range order and uh, it actually um, exists in solid okay, um, or atoms or molecules or ions occupy um, specific position they have usually uh, uniform order okay. and uh, crystals have highly regular features and are said to possess symmetry or be symmetrical and for the second one, uh, amorphous solid, they actually uh, do not possess okay, a well-defined arrangement and long order molecular, a long range molecular order. So um, they are not well-defined faces, angles or shapes, and often are mixtures of molecules which do not stack together well or large flexible molecules. So the difference between the main difference between these two solids is actually on their arrangement of um, atoms. Okay, so um, for the crystalline solid, they have a uniform arrangement, while for the amorphous solid, they do not have a uniform arrangement of the atom, ions, or molecules. So, um, for the types of crystal, we have uh, four types of crystal. First one is the metallic crystals. So, the particles uh, are actually from metal atoms and the bond or forces that we have in metallic crystal, usually we call it as metallic bond. Okay. So, uh, there are three common types of uh, metallic crystal structure. Uh, they are body centered cubic, we call it as BCC, face uh, centered cubic, FCC, and the third one is hexagonal closed pack, HCP. So, for the second crystal, we call it as ionic crystals. Okay, These are made from anions and also cations that form ionic bond so we have two common types of um, ionic crystal structure and this uh, we will be discussing this um, ionic crystal in part 4 5 and also 6 okay so uh, the two common types here that we have is sodium chloride or we call it as rock salt and cesium chloride and other than that we have zinc blend which is uh, zinc sulfide and third one, we have a simple uh, molecule crystal uh, that the particles are from the simple molecules and we have usually covalent bond and also the van der Waal forces exist in this um, simple molecule. Okay, For example, here we have iodine, phosphorus and also sulfur. And last but not least, we have macromolecule. This can be considered as, um, we call it as giant molecule crystal that form from the non-metal atoms and we have uh, bonds or forces that actually extended network of the covalent bonds and the common example that um, we have for the giant molecule such as um, allotropes of carbon, okay, so uh, this um, Examples for the allotropes of carbon such as graphite and then diamond, silicon, silica and also boron. So um, here, alright, we have um, 
the symmetry or what we call repetitive in crystalline solid usually we call it as lattice okay and the particles that make up the lattice we call it as lattice points okay so this is the lattice point okay this is a particle here that we call it as latin uh, lattice point and then uh, and this whole um, cubic here or we call it as unit cell is actually the basic repeating structure unit of a crystalline solid okay so in this um, 3d we have about 9 times 3 27 unit cells okay with um, one, two, three, four, four lattice point for each unit cell. So at the lattice point, it can be um, atoms, molecules or ions. So uh, that's all for the introduction and also the types of crystal. So I'll see you guys in uh, part two. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.